So today they uh, we decided to pray uh, in the chicken farm here. Right? Since after the endorsement of the All Africa Coalition Party to the United Party, this is my first time seeing you in a public gallery like this. <laughs> well, don't pray. <laughs> Your first time seeing me? Yes. Yeah. 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 The problem is, I just needed to, to, to be quiet and reflect a lot. So it's not like we, we, we are hitting. We are part of all of the processes. Yeah. 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 I'm part of the technical committee uh, between the two parties. So how do you say? We have even been following the Senate Bureau, you know, almost everywhere that Joseph Numa Baka is now visiting yeah. the Standard Bureau of the All Abroad Coalition Party has oh. formed part of that team. And you are so strategic oh. present with the All Abroad Coalition Party. Is it, is it strategic? You are the <laughs> president of the All Abroad Coalition Party. But strategic, so that means we have to be behind the scenes putting things together. So the, the, the committee that was set up, and the advisor oh. on the technical committee between the two parties. So that's the rule I continue to play. So I think it's a very good rule. So I don't need to be visible like the way we're visible during the process of, uh, of the first round. The second round, the rule that you have, you have to be, you have to play that rule. You cannot embellish uh, the rule that is not a sound with you. So that's the reason why you see the rule. Thank you so much, sir. And of course we. Uh, yeah, this uh, this afternoon, the time is 12 uh, 40, 20 minutes up to uh, one o'clock. And today, the former Liberian vice president, and of course, the standard bearer of the Unity Party Alliance, Rescue One Ambassador Joe Wakai, will worship with. Uh, with the St. Francis Mosque here in the Electoral District 2, Maserado County, especially at the Raya in Chicken Farm. So, in a moment from now, I will be to the former Vice President and is on his way with his interact. He will have a prayer here, a Friday prayer. And afterwards, where he will be making way to Totota to have some other engagements. But until then, I'd like to say thanks to all of you for joining us on our broadcast here. It is something that is very important. It has been speculated, it has been said that uh, Ambassador Kwakai cannot worship allegedly with the Muslims after some of the media headlines uh, carry that ambassador Bwakai have said that there will be no Muslim in his government once elected president. This plus many more allegations that were dispelled by the unity party heads, executive members. The ambassador Bwakai has been a friend of the Muslim community, the Islamic community, and in that no way will he say that he will not have a Muslim cabinet minister or maybe a director and these were all allegations false malicious uh, propaganda against a former Liberian vice president so today the former vice president will be worshiping and we have in prayer here at uh, the St. Francis uh, mosque chicken farm yes we got that right it's in St. Francis mosque chicken farm so the former vice president of the Republic of Liberia his Excellency Ambassador Joe Bwakai will be worshipping here today. It is something that is very, very much important. We've seen uh, the entrance, we witnessed the entrance of the the standard burial and political leader of the All Liberian Party, All Liberian Coalition Party, Lucini Kamara, and the electoral district to uh, 
a representative elect a sector of Kenya. Today we are here with the, with the income president. We are praying together. I normally pray anywhere that I want to pray. But today, occasionally, I'm here to pray for our income president, Joseph Nyumabaka. All right, so what message do we have for those that are following? Now, we have what, uh, 200 persons that are watching the uh, person at the Jacob Tons Sequential March here. Fellow Liberians, there have been doubt that our incoming president is a man who doesn't who is not religious tolerance. He's, he has been in religious tolerance. He's also going to show to his commitment for one Liberia, one people. And this election is not a tribal election. This election is not a religious, religious election. Liberians want to have a Liberian president. And Ambassador Joseph Nimabuaka Sinion is the next president of Liberia it, that will move this country forward. It has been alleged that uh, in some other media institutions are carrying the headline that Ambassador Buaka was elected president. He said he would not have any Muslim cabinet. And today we see him here to worship and pray with the Muslim folks. What's, what do you have to say about this? That information is propaganda. When you look at Ambassador Buaka was even educated by Muslims. When he went to school, it was Muslims that supported him to go to school. So how will he be against Muslim? There's no president on this earth that can vote against Muslim. There's no president that can have a government without having Muslim or all of the part of the government. That information is false, it's misleading. It's a propaganda to divide the rule. But what they allege our people, that Ambassador Joseph Nimabuaka is the next president. He's a real record seller. He has, a, he has an agenda to empower the Liberian people. His platform is for, is for accountability and, and, and development. So but, but Joseph Nimabuaka would be the best president of this country. Our children will no longer be taking kush. Our children will no longer be on the streets begging. Responsible men and women that have turned to beggars will stop being beggars. And a new plan they have that they want to turn the men into women. They want to women to, women to marry a woman. Men to marry men will put stop to it. After your, after your endorsement ceremony, you see there are certain things within your campaign activity. The way you campaign for yourself in the, in the, in the first round, you are campaigning for Joe Baca like that. Eat more than that in the second round. I did, thing. I did campaign for myself, but if you see me moving around as a person campaigning for Omeb Waka, I had people who were campaigning for me as a presidential candidate. This time around, we made an, we made an endorsement, and after our, our endorsement, we permit ourselves to the national referendum for patriotism. This election is, is beyond runoff. I refer to it as referendum of patriotism, and we are committed to that. And I can tell you for sure, Liberia will become a better place under the leadership of Ambassador Joseph Nyumabwaka. Under his leadership, it, will, it won't be the issue of Muslim or Christians. It won't be the issue of Madingo, Pele, Gi, or whatever. It will be a Liberian government. We will have a Liberian government, not a Muslim government, not a Christian government, not a Madinga government, but a Liberian government. That's what we're here for. He's not coming today because he's a Muslim. He's coming as a Christian, that he respects Muslim faith, he respects our belief. He's coming to pray with us, like how I went to pray with uh, our church a lot of time to pray with him. That's not as, as a former executive and a strong supporter of President Wea and the CDC, I'm better you one of the founding members of the CDC. Yeah. Uh, so I want to know, why do you think President Wea should not be retained for the President Wea? President Wea used deception to even seditions to get to where he is today. He lied to us so many times. When you look around President Wea had a grand broken for Bali Island. Where is Bali Island today? When you look around President Wea is the first president on the planet that prepare a kick like a plane and said to the Labrimpo that bring in Lusa Airway. Where is the plane today? It has disappeared. When you look around President Wea say you'll be a man of rule of law. Where is rule of law today? Gifty has disappeared. Mabuti and Yimpa have disappeared. There are a lot of Liberians who have disappeared. Our daughters have been raped in this country. Our mothers and brothers have been killed in this country. I'm telling you, President we, President George Manuweya is not a dependable person. He's not a reliable person. He's a deceptive character. And Ambala Joseph Nyumabwaka is a man of his word. That's the difference. So I supported, and I was a member of the CDC, believing that the CDC would have been the government for Liberian people. But we are realized that indeed, George Manuweya has come to lie to us. He now now plenty, plenty now with Tower in line. But guess what happened? The thing you have to do for now, you're saying that when you win the election, men will marry men, woman will marry men, woman. And then when you born a child, the child is a boy, they will change the child to a girl. Or you want the child to change the girl to a boy, they will do that one there, they will say no to it. The Bible says no to it, the Quran says no to it. Even the traditional people, they say no to that.
Ambassador Baka's visitation here for prayer they say is because of buying political sympathy for the Muslim community. No, the Muslim do not support anyone based on sympathy. The Muslim support the Muslim support people not based on sympathy. They support, they support it based on policy and principles. And the Muslim believe that Ambassador Joseph Yuma Baka is a man that will change this country for the better. The Muslim are not concerned about what is the religion of the president. Yeah, the Christian are not concerned about what is the religion of the president and of the vice president. They are more concerned what are your vision for the country. Look around today. Look at our children today. They want a future. How can they have a future when those who are graduating from university, they are on the street begging. They are in ghettos. They have become drug addicts. They have become beggars. Our parents have become beggars. No! We say no to that. On our Ambassador Joseph Nima Barkat, leadership. We will have a reconciled Liberia. On a leadership, we will have an empowered citizenry. On a leadership, we will have an accountable leadership. On a leadership, we will have a developed Liberia where we all contribute. I'm saying to you today, number one, in Islam, we say Allah Hawaii. And that's why we have number one today. Number one, Allah Hawaii meaning God is one. So, and there's one Liberia, one people, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Salam alaikum. Salam Check uh, Mustafa Kuyate is. Sheikh uh, Mustafa Kuyate is the political leader for Liberian First Movement and he's one of the persons who've come to worship here at uh, the St. Francis uh, Mosque. So as you can see, these are special securities, uh, rescue mission securities. And once you see these people around, it tells you that the former vice president will be here in a jiffy and then moving for now these are security rescue mission security so you can see from the back rescue alliance security and then moving for now on we will be witnessing the the arrival of the former liberian vice president and of course you you hear for it this is uh, this is the very first time um as you can see I Muslims folks are coming together to worship in union. Though this is not maybe my be but I mean politically, this might be maybe first of a kind. We've seen the arrival of Lucini Kamara, Akob Senabera, a political leader. We've seen the arrival of um, Isiku Kanen, who's the electoral district two representative elect. We've seen the arrival of Sheikh Al Mustafa Kuyate, uh, who is the political leader of Liberia First Movement. We've seen the arrival of lots of an executive from ARCOP and executive from other political parties uh, that Ambassador Boakai uh, rescue one and will be here to worship, to pray. And the, the best thing about it is that prayers from, from political leaders, so people see it somehow, some way, the attacks you to because of political sympathy and you listen to what uh, Shaq said it's about thanking God for life it's about asking God and the almighty Allah for direction and it's about making sure that um, God protect all of us as Liberians especially moving to the heavily contested run of elections and this uh, this run of election is 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 is, is more about the simple majority right so even if it is three votes uh is in uh difference the person who had a different highest will, will definitely be in much of the president led of the country so it's very important to be here so we've been told the president uh former vice president and uh of the republic of liberia is excellency ambassador Boakai will be here in a moment from now on just recently not too long you saw you saw the arrival of the uh, the rescue alliance securities uh these are special security assigned to the rescue mission and of course uh, the, the former liberian vice president so yes we here my name is gibson g folks and it's very important to bring you these kinds of for uh, a development and this particular broadcast we've been told has been has been on the radio on 106.7 uh, uh punch fm and of course in all the uh, relay stations across the country uh, uh relaying this our broadcast so uh the summer should be starting in in the mosque but we are waiting for the ex arrival of the former vice president so as soon as the former vice president arrives then we're moving in the mosque where 
uh, there will be prayer offers, uh, there will be uh, lots of things being done here at uh, the St. Francis Mosque Chicken Farm uh, in District 2, Maserado County, the Republic of Liberia. So yes, let's just take a view of uh, uh, let's take a view of uh, the mosque and how the people are performing their prayers here at the St. Francis Mosque in Chicken Farm. A uh, lecture of this with two months around the county, Republic of Liberia. My name is Gibson, and thanks to all of you for joining us. So, like I said, my name is Gibson, and we here at the St. Francis Mosque in Electoral District 2, Maserado County. So, any moment from now on, the former Vice President of the Republic of Liberia will be arriving. Uh, his, his, his Excellency Ambassador Joe Buakai uh, will be here this afternoon to pray and worship with the Muslim folks. Like we said, we've seen the arrival of Hussein Kamara, who is the political leader of the all Liberian coalition party that has endorsed Ambassador Buakai candidacy. And Siku Kane, the newly elected representative in Electoral District 2, is also here. Yeah, so, reason why we still out, we also we want the witness here, but the former vice president will now move in for the prayer. I you are the So this performance uh, prayers is ongoing.
This is Gibson G, a live from the St. Francis Mosque here in Chicken Farm in the church district number two, most of the county. Liberians will be going to the pool on November 14 for the runoff elections between President Weir and President Bwakai. Today, Lassie the Bwakai will be here at the St. Francis Mosque to pray along with uh, the Muslim community. See, the material district, two representatives met, and represented the city camera, just on the square, what you need to for. For my own vice president, that's Siku Kane and Ben. We still represent the election in the district two months of the county. And of course, I think it's in communication with the folks coming in and talking about vice president. For the public of the world, we men, children, women, all of the prayers. So, at a moment from now on, we will close the course. Uh, three minutes, we've been told. The former vice president of the Republic of Nigeria, Ms. Excellency Mwakai, to be here. So, I'm going to talk to a few of these people how they feel the human rights person to come up to their mosque to worship and love them. What does it mean for them as a, as a believer of Allah and the Almighty? And sometimes they are shown in the real because sometimes these things serve as motivation to the people. Seeing somebody who they've heard about, they've uh, heard about the person uh, on radio, uh, social media, meeting the person, uh, uh, physically interfacing. This is something they have to do. It would be more important to see this man, this guy, 
coming to visit the people who are lost to this. Very important. So, two minutes from now, the former vice president of the Republic of Liberia rescued two and stand up there of the Unity Party Alliance. The Unity Party Alliance is a conglomeration of political parties John forces for the rescue nation to support the candidacy of Ambassador to Wakai. So the alliance had the Unity Party, the Mother Party, it has the the Movement for Democratic Reconstruction, the MDR. We have the Movement for One Liberia. We have the all, not all, but the, it has the Rainbow Alliance. We have the, the All Liberian Coalition Party. The All Liberian, All Liberation, Africa Liberation League. By the Liberia Restoration Party. These are parties that have endorsed Ambassador Wakai and they are part of the Rescue Alliance, the Mini Party Alliance. So it is important to talk to these people. So we want to have some wide work, sorry, some of the folks who come to, to pray. So we hope we can have some wide with some of them. If the need be, if they give us the, the go ahead, we will have it to shoot. I want to talk yeah, um, today the former vice president will be worshipping here at the mosque. What does it mean for you as an individual supporting the former Liberian vice president? Well, it means a lot in the of our community. We kind of like, uh, we are proud to have you know, some of the character to be this year in the country. How long, how long have you been supporting the United Party? Very, quite very long time. So you feel so excited to hear that if that the former vice president will be here to watch you. So so excited. What do you get to tell your other friend who perhaps now supporting uh, Ambassador Baka? We are asking all Muslims, all Majingu, all members of the public to follow what our leader have asked us to do. That we should see the people of Baka. We should run away to our country. We should run away to our farmers. Thank you so much. So, yes, she is good. And the representative elect, the representative elect of uh, the electoral district, the uh, representative Siku Kane, we want to get some, some work from him uh, if the need be. He's having a tea chat with another person there. The honorable representative of the representative led of the lecture just for two months around the county, Siku Salfade Corner.
I'm a rich man. If you're white, I can find two of them. I can do it. I hope you get it. My son, by that. For the book, I get a teacher, I get I Yeah, give me a show also. Just start taking it. So, keep sharing the live video. You find more people to watch along with you here in the Addis Francis Mosque in Lecture District 2, Mosque County. If you have not done it, you will do it today. Assuming 
assume a whole all thing comes and that you have not done it he was doing it today what has not done can be done so it will be done today what does it mean for the folks in your district for which you are elected president? It means a lot. Seeing the incoming president coming to worship with the, with the community, it means a lot to us. So our community people, along with the standard bearer of Aqua and other have dignitary of Aqua, they are all here to receive him. So I think it's a great occasion for the people of district number two. There's some people say this is a political strategy to, to, to win the people of electoral district two, especially go from the Islamic background over to the, the former vice president, even telling the people their district has always been on unity party district. From 2006, 2011, 2017, up to present, even the going election, unity party overwhelmingly won the district. So it's not about coming to worship with us or coming to tell the Muslim community, thank you, it means that we want to try to persuade him or sway the voter to go that way. And a politician will do that. There's nothing wrong with that. Politics is about number, it's a number game. Where do you pull the crowd? Where do you get the crowd? If you think you can get a crowd on this side, you go after them. And that's just what our standard bearer is doing. Um, there's, there, there's, uh, uh, there are news in the headlines that uh, the former vice president have said that you will not have his employer once elected as president in a Muslim cabinet. This has been worried, uh, making news on the media. That, that's, that's a rubbish. That's a rubbish. That's all right. This president, incoming president, have said his cabinet will include all of the political subdivision. Is that possible? He was 12 years vice president. 12 years vice president, there were Muslim in that cabinet. The lives of the former finance minister. Come on, people should not be using these things to try to drive people away. We are all Liberian. Would you say things that would make a lot and lot of sense to our political discourse? Now, Mr. Uh, Mr. Kennedy, the expectation of the Unity Party of getting more votes from this district, and they are expecting you as the representative elect of this district, will you be able to give more number than ever than before? I'm certain with the collaboration of ACO, we can give that number even beyond. And the people of this district, and not everybody in the district is a Muslim. We are cut across. The other side has voted us overwhelmingly, and we will definitely do. Plus, the ACO vote we will take the, the district in big time. The aspect of tribal politics has been uh, the whole map now a day in our country, especially we seeing how uh, the, the massive vote that came from the Southeast region for President Weir. It, it is a case with uh, the, the, the folks from the Muslim background, especially with the conglomeration. Of how come the military party arrives? Well, I don't want to dwell much into that, but want to you know, politics in Liberia has been based on travel. Whether you like it or not, people vote based on their travel connection, their relationship with a particular candidate. All I can say with the coming of with ACO, it has added value to already what we had in the district but be assured that definitely Marco will put up unity party will put on the number that she deserve in district number lastly from my end it's been reported in this district in french area that some people's who serve as people during the automatic elections were replaced by some other folks believed to be supporters of press media as a representative like what are some of the mechanisms and number of the military party are put in place to make sure that in, in, in terms of fraud or maybe election irregularities in this particular place will not be accorded. The people don't vote. It's we the people that go and vote. They, they have they have they have so vote. yeah so all we need to do is to be able to man our vote. If we go there we vote right the people cannot change what you put on the paper. So we we'll definitely vote right and if we vote right they cannot change. Are you okay with the replacement of the people? I don't, I'm not certain. I don't have evidence of that that they have done that. Until that is happening, we'll do the best again. Go on there. So, the former Liberian Vice President, so what are you? Motorcade has arrived.
Come on, Vice President Motoke has arrived. See, Madam Mandela Kupa. She's the political leader of Movement for One Liberia. The rest of the Madam Mandela Kupa, along with uh, the chief protocol. To the political to the former vice president. From a vice president of the Republic of Liberia, standard bearer of the Unity Party Alliance has just arrived and he will worship with the Muslim community. Ambassador Bwakai gets off of his vehicle and you'll receive, you'll be received. You'll receive a pack of political leader, Lucidi Kamara, and Sekou Kennedy and the chairman of the ACOP and Sudole, they all both welcome the former vice president to the mosque. <laughs> Ambassador Boakai has arrived here at uh, the So, the former vice president has already arrived in the mosque and will now worship with the, the folks from this area. So, Ambassador Joe Guacai is now listening to the Senate camera. Last time, 
Like those that were there, I'm not like it was before. I guess this is not a church yet right now. Because he physically sent me the Lord. So we have all of our community. I would like to welcome you in this world. The Lord is in the entire Muslim community today. Tabeel! Tabeel! The founder of the United Party in Colombia, where the founder of our people. So they are intertwined with the same interest. So the interest we have now is to elect for and vote for the Honorable Ambassador Rescue One as President of this nation.
And the religion in Joshua tells us as Muslim that when he said yes, he was made that. Well, we did not call ourselves God, but they call us God. If we are dumb, we will be dumb if we do the dumb dumb. Yes. But we will not. Well, yes, this is a condition. We have in our weekend seen many things, and the result will be seen. But we are peaceful. Somebody is telling us the condition. We are peaceful, but we will not accept rigging of any election that is never born. And uh, we as Morris, we are all friends of the country. We are all friends of the country. Yeah. Why are we all friends of the country? Yeah. 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 Yeah.